cut up a chicken. A lot of people don't know how to cut up a chicken, so I just want to demonstrate it for everybody today. Um, first thing you do is, you know, take it out the bag, rinse it really well. Try to drain it um, really good before you put it on a cutting board. Otherwise, you're gonna have chicken blood everywhere. And then you're gonna want to try to dry it off just so it don't slide around on the cutting board. Dry it off before you put it on the cutting board though. Uh, so I'll be using two different knives today. Um, it's the Santuco. And then some people prefer to use the Chef knife. Um, I like the Santuco because it's, I don't know, it's lighter, it's more balanced. I feel like I have more control with this knife. And to me it's way more sharper than a chef knife and then I'll be using a fillet knife to actually break down the chicken okay so first thing you want to do is like I said earlier dry it off um, so it doesn't slide around on the cutting board and then um, there's two ways you can break down the chicken you can either go in and take off the leg and thigh you know the leg and thigh first and then the wings but the way I like to do it is just to go straight down the breast. So just slide straight down the breast. You're going to come to where there's a bone down in there, the breastbone. You're going to have to use a little muscle for this. So just take the knife straight down the breastbone and just push. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Usually, when you get a whole chicken, there's gizzards, so the neck, um, heart, and some um, other giblets, as they call them, in there. Um, on, in there, there was only a neck, so you don't have to worry about everything else. <clears throat> what you're gonna do is spread open the chicken. You're gonna take out the backbone. So you can just, again, you got to use the muscle straight down. There you go, you got the first side. You put that to the side. Put it this way so you can see a little better. I should have put a towel under this cutting board so it doesn't spin around on me. Here we go, we got the the back. So now we're gonna break down the chicken. We got the leg and thigh, breast and wing. I'm gonna take off the leg and thigh first. What you can do is flip it over. There's a little flap right here. Go ahead and cut some of that flap off to expose that leg and thigh. <clears throat> and then that leg and thigh is exposed. And you can just cut it right along here. As you can see, it's separated already. And just take that, take that off. So you got the leg and thigh. Flip that over. And then follow this fat line. There's a fat line here. Which under here is the joint, which I'll just cut a little bit so you can see. And you can just pop that joint right out. So that that way you know where to cut. See how easy that was? Simple. Breast and wing, I like to cut a little chunk off the breast for the wing. You can do the same thing as you did for the leg and thigh for the breast, but it's a little harder um, with the breast and wing to find that joint in there. So you might have to get in there and fill around a little bit. So it's about right there. Pop 
that open. There it is. And wow, that cut was a little chunk of breast. Quick off. I scope. Cut a more of it out there, huh? So that was quick and easy. Yeah. the breasts. This is a pretty large breast so you can cut that in half. You have two extra pieces right there. We're gonna break it down one more time. So you see. See it again. Japanese style um, knife. It's basically, it's a Japanese chef knife, basically. But you know, in, in, in Japanese cooking and Chinese cooking, there's a lot of vegetables, so it's just it's a lot qu quicker to chop with. Hold it. You know, a lot easier to chop with, quicker. You know, it's more flatter than a um, chef knife. A chef knife is more curved up. So it's a lot easier just to chop quick, 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 quick. And with the chef knife, you see it's more round. And you get that, you know, that rocking chopping, more Got it. slower paced. So this is more classical French. This is, you know, Japanese style cooking. To me, this is more modern. This is the more modern knife. Okay. Flat blade, <clears throat> quick chopping, very precise choppings. And this is an all around knife. Just as the chef knife is an all around knife, but this to me. Put on the fryer. Baby. 